Hi guys, Justin here. Welcome to Farm 26. And this is the Hero. Um, what I got here today is uh, underneath here you got a, uh, a final sifting screen and uh, there's a row of slats that clean your screen and we're going to get him uh, fixed up that way we can uh, clean some soybeans up. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you what they're all about. So here on my little wagon, I've got uh, this little grate here, and you can see I got uh, two missing there, and here's here's the rest of them. They kind of kind of fell out on me. Uh, the nails are rusting off, so what we're going to do is just screw them in with some sheetrock screws. But they clean. Let's see. So you have this screen here, and you know he's he's fairly fairly decent sized screen. Anyway, they just kind of, as your screen is going, they just kind of, and pop anything that's in these out. Uh, and that's, that's all it is. It's nothing crazy. So, I might uh, show you in on a video and just show you how that's done that little bit. So, first thing we want to do, and I set them down on the wrong side, is we take our slat and... Uh, you can see there's that little uh, little bit of nail sticking up there. It doesn't even pay to uh, try to uh, pull them out. Just uh, pulling them in. Well, this one's actually moving. Tell you what, I'm going to get a little cat's paw. I'll be right back. So I got my little cat paw here. And, uh, yeah, this is one of the first that, uh, and I don't know how willing he will be. Normally these nails are pretty, they break off real close to the wood and they end up being more of a job to get out than not. I don't know how much you can see of that, but yeah, there we go. We did get him. That's, uh, I'm actually kind of, kind of impressed. That, uh, generally doesn't happen. Yeah, that one we're just going to bury. On to the next. There he is. I know sheetrock screws, you know, they're kind of, oh, they're not, they're not factory by any means, and any real purist will say, oh, you can't do it, but, you know, yeah, this mill here is, you know, not 100% original neither, so it's not like we're anything too crazy that one we had to pound in I mean, if they come they come if they don't it just doesn't pay to mess with them too damn much there that one come this other one I don't know yeah there he come a little blood in the situation, but he come. Not without a fight. And there the wood's about gone. That one come. That guy there, he there isn't a lot of life left to that chunk of wood. This one I don't think we're gonna get. Oh yeah, he come. I'll be dang. This uh, this must be a little softer wood because uh, they're actually pulling out not too dang bad. Normally they're stuck in there so hard that you just end up busting the wood up, and you got nothing to work with. There, 
there. He kind of chipped out a little bit, but that one doesn't have none. All right, now on to this. So what we're gonna do is just pop these little sheetrock screws up and they're only gonna go up and in just a little bit. But we're gonna pre-drill them and then we're gonna put this little tiny drill bit in uh, in as well into the slot itself that way we don't that way we minimize splitting and yes there it is looking for him There's our pilot. And that's not going to be long enough. That'll work. Take our first slat. Center them up real nice. That's just going to help them from splitting is all that does. There. We're not trying to, you know, do anything real stupid wild here. At the end of the day, all we want is a clean screen. We don't need to reinvent the wheel here or nothing. Pretty good. Center him up. And I'm going to say that as soon as this screw is in, it's probably as tight as he's ever been in his life. And all we're doing is just flushing them sheetrock screws. It's not, and yeah, they are sheetrock screws. This isn't, this isn't anything super crazy. More dang fiddling with bits than... But if we take our time, it ends up being a pretty decent fix. on with the trend. And if you don't, if you're not doing this pre-drilling, I know it's a lot of screwing about, but if you're not doing it, you are going to crack all your stuff to pieces. And then you won't have anything to work with. And I think uh, that's kind of the, the bad side of heat rock screws. Guys get in a hurry and, oh, that's, we don't need to do that. Well, yeah, you do. There, well, 
got three more to put in and I know I'm missing a couple because they are supposed to run out you know the full length but uh, it's it's gonna be a lot better than what it was and besides that your bottom half there is still gonna be a lot of clean screen and there you go bottom to top and you know we are still missing you know a, a hand width here but uh, well it, it, it's gonna be okay we'll uh, we'll get her plumbed in there and get her going so I grabbed our uh, soybean sifting screen here and uh, I'm gonna try and get you a better shot at him but there he is and uh, that's what the, uh, the the slot pattern looks like. It is big enough where your halves should fall through and uh, all your good beans should ride over the top. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put him in. That way we can center up that uh, little cleaning screen. And with our screen in, uh, yeah, you can see that pretty good. We're just going to kind of up and in. And then, uh, let's see what way the shaker we on. I'm going to turn that shake so he's the furthest, which would be there. And check the bottom. Bottom's fine, actually. What we're just going to do is uh, leave him a little gap. About like so and then this isn't the original chunk of wood but it's the chunk of wood that uh, was here and we're gonna do the same nothing changes except for I can't grab my bet that changes Okay, well actually, you know what, I don't need to pre-drill, I've got some existing, existing screw holes here. I will have to on the other end, but. Okay, let's get him up and in, and let's get this guy. Say right there. Okay, and we're gonna do the same on the other side. I mean, he does just clean the screen. It's not, he's not anything more than that. So this isn't. Okay, so now the fun part is you got to have everything kind of centered. Uh, screen's got to be centered up, and then he's got to, you got to kind of split the difference on him before you can uh, take and whack a screw into him. Rock screw. And the reason why I'm using sheetrock screws versus nails is uh, they just plain don't come apart. Uh, it can do a lot more shaking and and your sheetrock screw will hold in there. Where your nails they back out sometimes and yeah he just just a little better technology that's all it is there and we should Center up the bottom. I see he's off just a hair. All I can do is just pull him to that side a little bit. The screen's off too. 
Yeah, he'll be all right. I am gonna put uh, two screws in the bottom. That's the, gonna be the only difference. Yeah, you can still see me. I didn't know how good uh, that camera angle there would be. He's kind of just propped up in there, you know. There. Two more on the other side. be perfect but he'll be pretty close tell you what he's gonna be a lot more solid than what he was there clean up our little mess And I'll give you a new video. And this is, uh, if you see that screen move and they don't, that's all they do. Uh, so this bigger slotted screen, you know, I don't think it's gonna, yeah, it won't clean it as much, but that's that's the whole idea. But it does support your, your sifting screen. So I wanted to get that done. Uh, I do have about 300 bushels of, uh, uh, what do we call them? They're, I guess, out of patent soybeans. They're, uh, they're really old genetic. Um, yeah, that's just, uh, what I'm going to do this year, but, uh, we got to get them clean. So, all right, catch you in a bit. So there you go. That's kind of what I've come up with. I got a little wagon. I pull behind the four wheeler. Uh, all the fines will dump straight down into him. It'd be fines and split beans. A uh, little hopper top up top, uh, kind of sprung, but uh, he's he'll be all right. So on your clean grain side here, which comes off of this sieve here, we can just put an auger boot. The only thing we got left is uh, this side here, and that we got nothing to for the big stuff coming off. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be a lot or not. I don't know if I've gotta make some sort of little slide to get it in that trailer, or if I can just make a little slide off the side coming, like, uh. So maybe I just gotta make a slide coming off of here, down to the side, down here somewhere, and then uh, that'd give me a little bit of a, uh, a bucket spot for the big stuff. Well, with that, uh, and I'm sure this video has got to be getting pretty close to there. So uh, I think I'm going to sign off and say uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, any comments down below, appreciate them. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a great day.